registered sex predator accused of molesting a girl in a local Walmart says he didn't do it. He has a long criminal history, and today he faced a judge on new charges. Watch 2's Dan Billow is live at the Brevard County Courthouse. And Dan, that suspect asked a judge to let him get out of jail for free. That is correct, Jim, but the judge instead decided uh, that uh, it'll, he'll make it impossible for Jehoshaphat Mitchell to get out of jail at all as he awaits trial on his newest charge. Mitchell has a long history of prison time, but he's been uh, convicted of only one other sex offense. Uh, may I have your name, please? Jehoshaphat Mitchell. Jehoshaphat Mitchell was last released from prison a little over a year ago. It was his third prison term. Since then, been living in a suburban neighborhood in Palm Bay where the neighbors were warned that he is a registered sexual predator. Palm Bay police say this week in a Walmart store he touched a 12-year-old girl while she was in the clothing department. He followed her to another department, police say, and did it again. Mitchell says he didn't do it. Well, well sir, I'm sure everybody will find out about it at a later time. It was in 1994 that Mitchell was convicted of a similar crime, illegal touching of a young girl, not outright rape. He served five years in prison out of an 11-year sentence and then went back to prison twice on probation violations such as failing to comply with electronic monitoring rules, ultimately serving 12 and a half years for the same crime. Judge, the defendant is a registered sexual predator. Um, he was last released from uh, DOC, I believe, in uh, 2013. Uh, the state would object to any bond whatsoever. Judge Jack Griesbaum agreed and revoked Mitchell's $30,000 bail. Mitchell is now held without bail. He's charged with two counts of lewd and lascivious molestation of a person under 16. Mitchell has been evaluated in the past for uh, confinement under the Jimmy Rice law in which sex offenders can be locked up uh, after their prison terms if doctors believe they may reoffend. At 5, I'll tell you more about the result of those evaluations. We're live in Sharps, Brevard County, Dan Billow, West 2 News. Late